What's up guys, Adak with India and welcome to yet another extremely unexpected video. I know I'm pushing the iPad Air 4 video ahead by quite a bit. I just got the iPad like a day ago. So yeah, that video is on its way. As a matter of fact, this video is entirely being scripted on the iPad and the thumbnail is also made on the iPad. An example of Apple's written power, of course. So enough of that. Let's get into what you're actually here for. I've got the Geekbench scores for every single Apple Silicon Mac and now there's the one more thing event. And let me tell you, the results are quite surprising. I did not expect such results. And you're thinking that I'm talking about the high numbers which are surprising me. But they aren't. I knew these high numbers were coming. But what surprises me indeed is the score differences between all these Macs. I'm pretty sure you have no idea what I'm talking about. But let's start off with the MacBook Air scores which leaked out the earliest on the 11th of November. On the screen, you're seeing a whopping 1696 with the single core score and a mind-blowing 7,415 in the multi-core score. This alone blows the top-end 16-inch MacBook Pro into the water and is just 500 points behind the base model $5,000 Mac Pro. And the single core is the highest that we've ever seen on a Mac. We also have another Geekbench score result, which I personally found out on the Geekbench browser of the MacBook Air, of course. And it has a multi-core score of 6,000 967, almost 500 points less than the other leaked score and has a single core score of 1719 which is slightly higher than the previous one. The difference in the two multi-core scores is way out of the margin of error. Quite surprising. But either ways, that is incredible for a $999 base MacBook Air. Best value on a laptop ever. Let's have a look at this Mac Mini which starts at just $699. I found this score all by myself on the Geekbench website and it has a single core score of 1682 which is similar to the Air and is within the margin of error. And the multi-core score is 7097 which is not within the margin of error compared to the MacBook Air's first leaked multi-core score at over 7400 multi-score points. Multi-core score points. Yeah, I messed that up. But this isn't bad either, still very powerful, potentially the best and most powerful computer for $699. Now let's talk about the MacBook Pro and here you will see the surprising factor I was talking about. I found this score all by myself on the Geekbench browser, the single core score very similar to the Air at a solid 1740. Now remember the Pro should perform better than the Air because it has fans inside it and the Air has no fans. So, in turn, the MacBook Pro has a better cooling system. So, what do we see? Surprisingly, the MacBook Air beats the MacBook Pro by 600 points in the multi-core score. Surprising, isn't it? The MacBook Pro has a multi-core score of 6802, which is in itself very high. But we were supposed to get a better performance on the Pro as compared to the Air. But we are getting the opposite. The Air in the first score has a solid 7,415 in the multi-core score compared to the 6,802 on the MacBook Pro. The MacBook Pro might still be better in high-end tasks like video editing, but the Air is very, very powerful and for some reason more powerful than the Pro. Also, I would like to mention that all these Macs in terms of single-core scores are in the top 200 computers or around those numbers in the world. This is incredible and the only thing that comes to my mind now is RIP Intel because these new Macs blow the i9 in the MacBook Pro 16 inch away. I think that the first multi-core score was an error and somehow got to that high number but we should consider this one for the Air, this one for the Pro, this one for the Mac Mini. I will link all these Geekbench scores in the description so that you can check them out for yourself and extremely sorry for the incorrect information on the Mac OS Vixer release date. I was very close as compared to the journalists who said that Mac OS Vixer drops on the 10th but it is dropping on the 12th. So yeah, that's fine. And anyways, thank you for watching. I'll catch you on in the next one.